Hello guys, Barka for here for kiwiscomport.com and I'm going to show you how to get accelerometer readings for your Windows Phone device in this tutorial. Um, I'm going to drag a text block here to, to what we're going to use to display our text. I'm going to give it a name. Say readings. Yeah, readings. Then um to change this block for to 0, 0.0 makes it look more scientific or accelerometer in nature so um to get our to get our accelerometer readings we actually need two references to add two more references to this so we need to, we need to add using microsoft Devices sensors, yeah. Then um, using Microsoft XNA framework. Okay, that's set up. You can move forward. In case you don't get these two references, you just come to. Add references here. Right click, add references, and check the text boxes for the boxes for sensors and extending framework. So um, I'm going to create our accelerometer variable. Accelerometer and um, our variable name accelerometer. Accelerometer. Yeah. Cool. So next stop is um check if device has an accelerometer sensor. Yeah. So um, if say if not accelerometer sensor, if not accelerometer supported okay. then okay. Uh, text our uh, readings dot text what am I typing text no If it's found, then we run this. If accelerometer equals null. If we have an accelerometer device with no reading, then we instantiate our accelerometer. Accelerometer equals new accelerometer. So let's see. Instant. Instantiate. our accelerometer device and now we have to set um, our refresh time how often does accelerometer data refresh so we say accelerometer time between updates calls time span not from milliseconds Set this to five milliseconds. So um, now we have to set up our event handler. This is what happens 
this is what handles the um, accelerometer readings for us and okay so accelerometer dot current value changed actually not implemented so we just generated this one but before we forget we have to start our accelerometer so accelerometer dot start okay so next stop is um we don't need this to new on implemented exception so I'm going to um, update our UI thread with our accelerometer. UI method so private void accelerometer reading set up with vector 3 um, this vector 3 is is what represents our three directions or three dimensions x y and z because our device can be moving in the speed could be in the x direction y direction and z direction sometimes you want to get which direction is faster so um, vector 3 accelerate directions accelerometer reading acceleration yeah. okay cool um, with all that done the only thing left is to display our data so we'll come to Yeah. 
create a new line for clarity of the Windows phone emulator is you can actually test accelerometer readings. So um, you click this and you can see accelerometer here. So by dragging this orange box you see um, the speed is moving in the correct direction you are dragging towards. As you can see our we are getting our accelerometer reading pretty cool. So um, this is all it takes to get your accelerometer readings in windows phone so i hope you use this to create very cool apps and please do share the apps with me when you do thanks for watching and please drop a comment and subscribe thanks